So it's spring and we naturally think of spring cleaning. We've been inside most of the winter and so maybe you start to see the piles of things climb up the walls and so now you're thinking I've got to get rid of some of this stuff. And so I want to talk you through a couple areas in your finances of things you need to keep track of and maybe some simple ways to do it and also to help you get rid of some of that stuff. So first let's think through just the day today. So we're going to call this functional. These are things that as you function every day, these are things that you just naturally collect. These could be things like receipts that maybe you need to keep for a business or to support a tax return, or even bank statements, credit card statements, any type of statement that you get monthly, maybe from a health, health insurance or something like that, you just need to keep track of. So these are things simply you could put in one file folder, label them by month, and then at the end of the year, take them out and just put them in one stack. So now they're already filed and in order. And if you need them, you can go back to them easily. Now let's talk about the second area, which is called structural. And the reason that I called this the structural is because these are documents that maybe you get one time and you need to keep it for 30 years. So it's a much longer time period and maybe the importance is much bigger. So these are things like a life insurance policy that's something you need to remember the details of or you signed it and so you need to hold a copy of it. Maybe something else is estate planning documents and these are things that you may want to go back and look at kind of on a frequent basis just to see what they say or to see who was the person that I chose to be in this. So there's two different types of documents. These are things we help our clients with so they can stay organized so they don't have to keep track of all the paper. So we look forward to helping you get organized during your spring cleaning.